Hello. <laughs> you alright? Yes, fine. <laughs> Having a moment. <laughs> I thought I outed him about something. I know, no. Put the spade down. <laughs> um, so I'm Sarah from The Coming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. Um, for people who aren't familiar with Brassic, can you just let us know why they should watch it? Well, <laughs> I can, yes. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a show about a bunch of mates in the north of England who are uh, criminals, for want of a better word, but um, with a very big collective heart, I guess, uh, who get up to all sorts of escapades. It's, it's uplifting, it's funny, it's um, the best show on television. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you want to see a group of uh, friends on TV who you'd want to be your friends, then I'd say that, that you, can't go, you can't go too far wrong with Brassic. And what's been the appeal for you, and, and what have you enjoyed most about being part of the show? Um, on Brassic, I get to do something absolutely bonkers every single day that we're on set, whether we are... Uh, breaking into houses, stealing Shetland ponies. Yeah. Um, this season, we um, what do we do? We buy a greyhound who empties his bowels on the track every time that we try to race him. We get kidnapped by a cannibal. Yeah. Um, we get lost in the woods camping, and we stumble across a cult who are trying to sacrifice a local. It's these sort of wholesome, uplifting stories that we want to share with the wider world. Yeah, that, and that is literally just a couple of episodes off the top of my head of Yeah, it's, it's, you will you will go into. You, there was one day, you know, where on the, the first day I had to like fall through a roof, and then the next day I was in the back of a, a of a sports car with a with a python. Um, with no trousers on uh, because I'd wet myself. Not me, the character had wet himself. Oh, I haven't had that problem for weeks. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, so, and I had to lob my trousers out the window and we covered each other in urine, didn't we? But, yeah, so it's, yeah, a lot of that stuff. It's not degrading, though. <laughs> not a bit and why degrading. do you think people keep coming back for more? And, do, you know, what do you hope people take away from watching it? I think the fact that there is such heart behind it. Yes, they're criminals, but they're kind-hearted criminals and all of the crimes are committed in order to benefit someone who is worse off than they are. Um, they never make any profit from them because they're so bad at what they do. They're dreadful criminals. Um, and by dreadful, I mean incompetent. Um, and we just have a laugh doing it. And I think, I think, like you say, you, you, you kind of want to be in their gang when you're watching it. I think that's, that's, what, what, that's what appealed to me when I read it. And I have to just quickly ask you about the split because I was totally obsessed with it. What was it like being involved with that? And you said it's over. I love the experience. Um, <laughs> you know, Damien, my, oh, sorry. I, listen, I love the split for a series. Um, so I asked, could I be in the second series? So uh, they got me in and I, I've had so much fun playing this very, very twisted <laughs> baddie, uh, which has been really, really fun to do. And there's such a lovely, lovely group of people on the split. So I was kind of, I was just in my element. I loved it. I'm glad you did too. Amazing. Well, it's been lovely to chat to you. Enjoy the evening. Thanks so much. Cheers.